Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kelly Jones. Thanks so much for joining us on our noon show. We begin with our big story this noon. Bond has been denied for the man accused of stabbing a grandmother to death. Theodore Johnson was in court this morning. He is accused of killing 68 year old Shirley Gardner at her home in the Bayou Plaza apartments last Wednesday. Local 15's Darwin Singleton was at today's hearing and has the very latest. Darwin. That's right. I learned in court today, Kelly, that uh, Johnson has a long and extensive criminal record. Arrest for robbery, thefts, drugs, assault. But there was one offense on that list that helped convince the judge to deny Johnson's bond. At the time of Mrs. Gardner's violent murder, Johnson was already out on bond on a charge of menacing, threatening someone else with a knife. And prosecutors confirmed another troubling fact in the case. Gardner was indeed found with a bag over her head. Carisha Campbell is the victim's granddaughter. Justice, we need justice. She was a sweet old lady. She did not deserve this. Mm -hmm. not, not at all. We'll hear from Johnson's attorney in a little while. He was back in court for a preliminary hearing set for September 16th when the judge will see if there is enough evidence to send the case to a grand jury for a possible indictment and then possibly a trial. Kelly. All righty, Darwin, thank you so much. Uh, do you know what the Enterovirus 68 is? Probably not, and you're not alone. This new and rare virus has prompted a nationwide health alert for babies. Hundreds of babies over at least 12 states have been rushed to the hospital. The Enterovirus 68 it involves newborn babies that are most likely to suffer the most severe effects of this virus. This is a virus relatively new to doctors. It's only been researched for the past five years and is usually seen in the summer months. If left untreated, it can prove to be fatal for babies. Even though it started with just a regular temperature, don't ever be afraid to bring your children in, even if it's just something simple, because something simple can turn into something horrific just within hours. It appears that we're seeing more babies in the first couple weeks of life. And we know that with other viruses, babies who have uh, infection in the first week or two of life may have more severe disease. Doctors are urging parents and grandparents, child caregivers to pay extra close attention to warning signs. And those warning signs include diarrhea, vomiting, respiratory illnesses, high fever, red rash, and a lot of irritability. If your baby has this, please get them to the nearest emergency room as soon as possible. Happening this noon, former New Orleans Mayor Ray Nagin, he will report to a federal prison to begin serving his 10 year sentence. He is serving a sentence in a minimum security facility in Texarkana, Texas. Nagin was convicted back in February of this year on 20 charges dealing with bribery, money laundering and tax evasion. Nagin maintains his innocence and says he plans to appeal the conviction. New this noon, a city requirement demanding businesses to enclose dumpsters has been postponed for now. This additional time will allow Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson and his administration to analyze whether the requirement is even needed. The ordinance was set to go in effect October 1st. The dumpster enclosure requirement was approved by City Council back in June. Mobile City Council members questioned the need for the enclosure and the costs that businesses may have to dish out to build one. The requirement has now been postponed for four months. Later this week, the president will present his plan to, dismant to dismantle ISIS. Our Richard Engel has the latest from Iraq. The U.S. military has carried out nearly 150 airstrikes in Iraq, dropped food, and helped refugees. But this morning, ISIS remains strong and savagely brutal. The group released new video of its men humiliating and executing roughly 200 Syrian troops. The next phase is now to start going on some offense. The president told Meet the Press he now has a strategy. Uh, what I want people to understand, though, is, is that over the course of months, we are going to be able to not just blunt the momentum of ISIL. We are He'll outline his full plan in a speech on Wednesday. On Sunday, he gave Chuck Todd a preview. We are going to